What's up guys, Chris here with the Palmer Living Family, me and Avery. By the way, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and you're just checking out our videos. Today's video is going to be on a DIY curtain rod, industrial looking curtain rod, and also using um, painter's cloth as the curtain itself. So this is going to be kind of a cool video. Um, but first, let's go to an update from Avery. How are you doing, Avery? What are you chewing on? A yogurt pretzel? By the way, she's um, Avery is around 18 months right now, and she's almost going to be two. She's getting over teething. Can you say hi for the camera? Can you say hi? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got a mouthful of pretzel. That's why you're not talking, huh? But yeah, guys, let's flip the camera, and I'll talk about this DIY industrial curtain rack, curtain rod. So, all right, guys. All right, sorry. So walking into our laundry room, my wife does have a pretty cool laundry room. That is a separate video. Walking into the porch. What are you doing, Avery? Oh yeah, that's the view. The industrial curtain rod. And we're also using painter's cloth as the actual curtains. And <laughs> throwing pretzels on the ground. Anyways, what you're gonna wanna buy is you're gonna wanna choose what size your industrial pipe is going to be. And um, we went with one inch fittings, and then this is a inch and a quarter, I believe, electrical conduit. All you have to do is go to the hardware store and see what size electro electrical conduit fits perfectly on the inside of the pipe, but I'm pretty sure this is inch and a half, inch, actually I think it's one inch. And this is three quarter, we downsized because these flanges were a lot cheaper. And then we bought these alligator clip uh, things to hold the curtain onto the curtain rod. You wanna be in the video a little more, Avery? Is that what you're saying? Say. Hey, you wanna show everyone your new toy? <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool toy, huh? Yeah, he's definitely got enough toys, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I think, what you doing, Lace? What you doing? I think our house is coming together pretty nicely. Uh, my wife is doing pretty good on the, I guess you'd call it her laundry room. She wants me to put a board at the top there. But yeah, the DIY curtain rod. It is, it. I would call it like an industrial curtain rod per se. And what we did was we bought the little clips that hold the curtain on Amazon. I'll throw a link to that in the description box. It works perfectly. And we just had to make sure that the pipe fit over the rings, essentially. I think they're like 20 bucks for a huge bag of clips because what we're doing is wrapping the curtains the entire way around our porch. Uh -oh. It's going to wrap the entire way and have different sections. By the way, I'm painting the ceiling over here. Just installed this heater. I did do a video on that. If you guys are also wondering, you can check out my other videos. This is a great three season porch heater, four season porch. <clears throat> but yeah, everything's good guys. Just updating you on the family living. It is almost winter time and everyone's kind of just been chilling out on the benches I built. There's a video yet to come on that. So pretty excited. Um, this porch is looking pretty cool. Besides the, the blue carpet, my wife is really hating on the blue carpet. And to be honest, I'm getting kind of sick of having all the baby stuff everywhere. So it's like, does your house have to be a daycare, even if you have one child? Or is our one daughter overly, what's the word? Um, why can't I think of the word? <laughs> when, you, when you give your child too many things, overstimulated, she's spoiled. Yes, overly spoiled is the word I'm thinking of. What do you think, Avery? Are you, are you spoiled? She has toys everywhere. Everywhere. Let's ask grandma if you have too many toys. She raised three kids 106 years ago. Maybe grandma will know. All right guys, that basically sums up our, this, this will be a series of videos because there's a lot more to come on actually constructing the curtains that go here as well so hopefully this helps you this is actually just the beginning for us too 
Got this lighting, the camera doesn't want to focus. I think it looks really cool and we sprayed it with black chalk, or no, um, blackboard marker paint. You know, like the stuff, the chalkboard paint, that, that sounded weird. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. This is our DIY industrial curtain rod, curtain hanger, black pipes, however you want to phrase it. All right, guys, wrapping this up. Hey, you. Hey, can you say hello to the camera? Can you say hello? Baby. 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 Yeah. Boo boo. Yeah. Okay, can you say goodbye, Avery? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, and we're out.